Hey there everyone, this is Michael Dougal, the Nootropic Reviewer, and during this video I'm doing a product review and sharing my opinion and perspective on the very popular energy drink, it's called Prime. Now this product is everywhere online, but it is somewhat controversial because of the fact that people do claim that there is misleading marketing behind the product, it's over-promising, and it's maybe a bit overpriced. However, I actually think that's okay. I think most people understand that when they are getting a product these days, that the product is obviously marketed effectively, and they're paying for the branding, they're paying for that experience, and I I really just don't see what all the fuss is about. I don't think the product is horrible by any means. Sure, looking at the ingredient profile, which we're going to get into, there's nothing really which makes it stand out like a cognitive enhancer or something that can really help to boost productivity or help with physical performance. So from a scale of one to 10, I would rate Prime a four out of 10. It has some pluses, but mostly cons, and I really don't think it's all that effective. According to Wikipedia, Prime is a range of sports drinks and energy drinks created and marketed by Prime Hydration, which has been promoted by YouTube specifically internet personalities Logan Paul and KSI. Let's see what they have to say about it. 20 calories, 10 calories, two grams of sugar, sugar free. And they both have coconut water plus electrolytes. In conclusion, both amazing tasting, better for you products. Drink Prime. So the hype that was associated with all these social media personalities had obviously led to very successful launch and sales of the product. And although they have hydration sticks and they have a non-caffeine version, we're gonna specifically talk about the caffeine version first, which is the most popular product. And it says zero sugar, 200 milligrams of caffeine. That's a high amount, it's not absurdly high. Uh, 355 milligrams of electrolytes. The question around that is what kind of electrolytes? There's different kinds of electrolytes we have to take into consideration. Um, sodium, potassium, magnesium, and then again, calcium. And now looking at the nutrition label itself here, we've got 10 calories. Of course, that's coming from uh, the carbohydrates. It says four carbohydrates. Calcium, not much. Potassium, not much either, which is bizarre because of the fact that they're claiming to be a hydration drink mixture, yet it's low on potassium. Most people are simply not getting enough potassium in their diet and it is affecting performance. Vitamin B6, we have over 100% of the daily recommendation. And that's actually pretty common, surprisingly, in energy drinks, especially pre-workout formulas. B12 being 100 150% and magnesium being at only 15% of the daily value. And some other good ingredients, looking at the side of the can, we have L-theanine, which is going to be helpful with anxiety and also calm you down to some extent. There's some really good research behind L-theanine boosting cognition. We have taurine. Taurine is great for energy production. And of course, we know that taurine is commonly found in energy drinks to help actually boost energy levels, along with somewhat decreasing anxiety and making sure that uh, your crash isn't as bad as it usually is. And then of course, we have sucralose. And sucralose is what's going to be responsible for this product being very sweet. So they may not have sugar, but they do have sucralose that's making this product obviously taste very good. So in marketing this product, they were very proudly saying that our energy drink tastes better than the competitors. Liquid IV is, it's not bad, but it is a little salty. But Prime is delicious. I'm not kidding, this is so good. And then our friend Logan Paul goes on to criticize Liquid IV, one of the competitors, because their product is salty. And of course it's salty because of the fact that it has sodium content. And sodium is going to then help with performance. Because if you look at most reviews out there for the various flavors, everybody says that this product is sweet, often too sweet, which could be such that this product would unfortunately be appealing to kids. So then we have a big problem because the product, of course, is being promoted by Logan Paul very effectively, of course, um, through UFC. And they even actually actually had a new signing as a prime athlete. Check out this commercial. The official sports drink of the UFC. It's <laughs> So a product which is understood to be helpful when it comes to sports and performance, yet it seems like the uh, elder age demographic of people isn't really ingesting this product as much as people very young, like between 10 to 16 years old. It's very, very popular. And that becomes an issue because of the fact that we have caffeine content, of course, misleading marketing, but more importantly, I think the caffeine is really what makes this product a questionable one because of the fact, like really based on the consumers. Now, is that their fault? Logan Paul's fault and the people branding this? That'll be for you to decide. Now, based on my research, I think for an adult, the 400 milligrams of caffeine a day is acceptable. That's like the highest side, I would don't recommend anybody exceed that amount. So 200 milligrams, that's half of that serving size. And then if younger individuals are having it, how could that be affecting them when it comes to just heart health, when it comes to irritability, with nausea, with of course insomnia. But of course, it feels really good, it tastes really good, and the addiction potential with this product is one of the reasons why it's getting so much negativity out there. And there's a comment that stood out in another YouTube video made by More Plates, More Dates, where they had mentioned that they're a janitor at an elementary school, and it's honestly scary how many prime bottles they see in the trash 
trash cans every single day, you hit the nail on the head with this 8 to 16 year old group. And then there's countless reports of other people saying the same thing. This example here of somebody grabbing their dad wanting to get the product. So this wasn't really happening with Red Bull when Red Bull was first started being marketed and had launched. Now, can it really help performance? I'm not really a believer. I think that Red Bull or another drink could be very effective. A lot of people have reported feeling very similar to using something like C4, which is surprising because I see C4 being way more effective than this. They've got a much better ingredient profile. However, with Prime, things are probably underdosed when it comes to like the good ingredients we talked about, L-theanine, taurine. Now let's take a look at the hydration stick pack. So this product has 20 calories. It has uh, six grams of carbohydrate, one gram of fiber, two grams of sugar, no vitamin D, calcium, seven milligrams. That's 0% of your daily value. No iron. They have uh, potassium at 700 milligrams. That's okay. It's somewhat significant. Vitamin A, 900 micrograms. They have vitamin C, E, B6, and B12, similar to the other product. And then they have magnesium, 124 milligrams. That's okay. And this is being marketed as a hydration product. The amount of potassium is somewhat insignificant. So can you see here, it's a very underdosed product. It's a product that I can see people sipping on during the day. Not that I recommend it. It tastes good. At the same time, it has potassium content. And surprisingly, potassium, it can make a big difference. And from my experience and in the past, whenever I suspected I wasn't getting enough potassium, I would take potassium pills, like take one pill in the morning. And I actually noticed that I felt better energy levels and, and I was in a better mood during the day. So the market for hydration or energy drinks is absolutely huge. Uh, the product that comes to mind first, in my opinion, would be Gatorade. Most people seem to know what it is, so that's a hydration uh, drink. And because of Gatorade's powerful branding, when people drink Gatorade, they're associating themselves with the athletes that they see in the commercial. And so the issue when it comes to Prime is that people are drinking it and trying to associate themselves as one of those athletes, meaning they should be active when they're drinking it, but most people aren't, and they're drinking the product just like they're drinking water. And then because of the fact like it has fairly high caffeine content, of course, considering a cup of coffee is going to be around 80 milligrams or so. So combined with the fact that it seems to be like a younger demographic that the product is appealing to because of its sweet taste and branding, we have a big problem. However, there's a few great alternatives if you're looking for an energy boost, if you're looking for somewhat of a boost in performance, not only mentally, but also physically. Some of my favorite ingredients, and of course, you can look at the dosages across my channel, like caffeine and L-theanine. And I've talked about it more in this video over here because you get the energy boost and at the same time, you have L-theanine combined in the product, which is better helping you to stay relaxed and helping you ensure that you're making good judgment. Don't, of course, forget the power of using salt and having sea salt in your diet, healthy salts that always help staying hydrated. And there's, of course, healthier ways to make sure that you're staying hydrated. For one, it's important to note that not only do you need to drink a lot of water, but also water-rich foods often have um, a similar, if not a better effect on hydrating the body. And this is going to be especially important for anyone who exercises, especially if you're doing cardio, you are sweating a lot, and it is important that you replenish those electrolytes. And if you're looking to boost your focus, one of my favorite supplements is L-tyrosine. L-tyrosine is actually an amino acid that's found in chicken breast, it's found in turkey, it's found in egg whites, and when you use it independently in capsule form, it not only boosts focus, but it boosts motivation. For me, it lasts like 90 minutes to two hours. I've talked more about L-tyrosine in this video over here, it being one of my favorite supplements. Again, I'm understanding the fact that taking supplements may not taste as good as this wonderful drink, which seems super sweet, but if you're actually looking to improve your performance, make sure to subscribe to my channel, look at some of the videos, and make sure you share your opinion on Prime in the comment section below. What are are your thoughts on this product. If you'd like to chat with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can message me on Patreon and be sure to visit our Discord server. We have a 24-7 chat room where we're answering questions in a time-sensitive fashion. I thank you for your interest in nootropics and I look forward to seeing you next time.